Hi friends, I'm Rebecca and this is Birch Moon Farm. Today we're going to talk about how you train your chickens to come when you call them. It is very easy to train your chickens to go where you want them to go. And one of the biggest reasons to train your chickens to come when you call them is when you're free ranging them. Our chickens are so happy when they're free ranging. So I really need to do something special to get them back into the coop. We use a variety of treats to entice our chickens. We use cracked corn, black oil sunflower seeds, and dried mealworms. Cracked corn is inexpensive, provides high energy, but it has low nutritional value. The sunflower seeds can be affordable, they have a high oil content and some nutritional value. The dried mealworms are expensive, but they have high protein and higher nutritional value. The next thing is the container. You want to use something that the treats will make a noise in, so a shaking noise. I like to use these scoops. And the next thing is the call. Now don't be shy, you can do this. Make it your own. Doesn't have to be like anybody else's. Um, if you have watched any of our other videos, mine is babies. If you watch any other uh, channels on YouTube, everybody has a unique call. So have fun with it and go for it. Let me know what you use down in the comments. That'd be cool. Now let's see it in action. These are the five and six month old chicks and I've been working with them for about one week and they're starting to make that association between the call, me, and the treats. This is where they sleep at night and it has been so much easier getting them to go to bed at night. <laughs> well, you guys made a mess of your water already. Go, now Ozzy and Cindy are a couple years old so they know baby. what this sound means. They get treats and they've been talking at me the whole time I've been doing this video. <laughs> These babies are around two to three months old and they are just starting the process. I'm just going to give them some treats and then I'm going to do the call at the same time. They haven't had a lot of treats yet. I've given them some watermelon and stuff, so they're really kind of wary of it. But once <laughs> one figures it out, the others will too. Miley and Daisy have been with us for a while too, so they know that the sounds that I'm making means treats. But this little Roo over here on the left, he's young, and he doesn't quite understand the concept of treats yet. So give him a watch. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He just figured it out. He's like, oh, these are treats. I'm more behind on training these guys than I would normally like to be. So I am just starting the process with them. These guys are already trained. <laughs> when we first got chickens, we had the silkies, but we also had regular sized chickens. 
Thank you, Ash. And one time, it was early spring, I let all the chickens out. I was out with them, and literally about 200 feet from us, a bear emerged from the woods, and he was moving. Now, I don't think he had seen us yet, but I panicked, and I'd already trained our chickens to come when called. So we were close to the coop. Um, I called them. They went right into the coop. I went into the coop. <laughs> but when I started making some noise, the bear noticed us and actually turned around and ran. So that whole time I was getting us into the coop, the bear was running away. But um, I was really, really happy that I had trained the chickens to come when I called. So that can be a big deal for your chickens. Um, if you have roosters, of course, they're going to do something very similar and protect the girls, but this, this will make your life so much easier. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. So that's it, guys. Something super simple that you can do, but it makes a huge impact in being able to care for your chickens. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Thanks.